I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm talking to you guys back on YouTube. Like, I wanted to make sure, like, I was all good to jump behind the camera and talk to you guys again. And what better video than to how I'm going to improve, like, just me in general in life. Like, 2023 was such a shit year for me let's not sugarcoat it like 2023 i could probably say if it wasn't for the people i'd met was like the worst year of my life but like the people i've taken from 2023 and bought into 2024 and some of the people i've left in 2023 are some of the best memories i went to concerts i got to see friends my best friend had a baby like i had some of the best memories last year but like in terms of everything else like I just feel like me in general it just wasn't my best year like I don't think I achieved anything I wanted to so I'm so glad to be in 2024 and I know a new year shouldn't mean like it's meant to be the start of you actually going after what you want but what better time <laughs> do you know what I mean and technically I didn't literally start the year and I was like okay new person like I don't I don't think I want to be a new person I just think I want to actually this year spend time trying to achieve my goals and I think the only and the best way to do it is by setting realistic trackable goals like and that is what we're gonna do in this video today we're gonna become our best productive selves in this 2024 like if you're watching this i really believe that for you like i hope this is the year that you actually become the go-getter and if you're making small progress progress is progress and sometimes a lot of small progress adds up like one chicken nugget you're gonna be like mm. and then 20 chicken nuggets later or 40 depending on how much you eat you're gonna be absolutely stuffed and yeah so let's take goals as progress as chicken nuggets this year but i actually am meant to not be eating so many chicken nuggets so maybe grapes i don't know it's been a while tell me what you've been on can we sit here a while memories all through our phone yeah yeah it's been it's your girl jackie benakai and welcome to my youtube channel a productive 2024 is what we are going for and like i said before like i feel like the best way to have a productive year is by having the trackable and achievable goal so for this thank goodness for the legend herself miss grace beverly she's got a digital planner basically which i got towards the end of last year how can we start ticking boxes and achieving goals how are we going to do that we're going to plan we are going to plan right and that is what the productivity method digital planner has been chef's kiss with now you don't have to have it you can just use like a normal diary you can use a notepad you can use your notes page on your phone um but i've got the planner and that was kind of the reason why i got the planner so i'm using the planner so one thing i think is really important you have one section where you look at your positives and your negatives like about yourself and with your productivity so when are you the most productive what makes you the most productive like what things help you to be the most productive like what are your motivators etc and then also on the flip side because we have to look at what's making you not so productive why are you not productive during those times and it was a wake up call for me a little bit i can't lie i didn't know that my lack of productivity sometimes because i over what did i call it over committing my time but like seven six hour tasks in one day obviously we've worked out the maths that's not possible i feel like i need to drop that i need to stop doing that i need to look at a task and go realistically how long is that going to take me and also leave time during the day if something runs over so that i have time to actually finish it or maybe can i take it into the next day kind of thing so overcommitting my time was one of my i think that was one of my biggest problems last year and spending too much time on my phone. I am guilty. I'll hold my hand up and I will say that I, the second something is like, becomes too hard or whatever, I'm straight onto my phone. I'm on TikTok, on Instagram. I'm replying to messages more the first two than the last two. And people who are still waiting for replies, replies from me, I'm so sorry. But that is me. Like, I, I'll go straight onto my phone. Like, I'm making playlists. I don't need another playlist. Spotify actually called me out on it and said, you make the most playlists out here girl like it's because i'm procrastinating so that's the reason why i'm not so productive so i'm going to really focus on that this year i'm going to make sure i'm not over committing my time every day i'm going to make sure that i'm going on my phone only when i should be going on my phone not when i should be doing other tasks what actually makes me productive 
I am more, I will not lie to a single soul. I can't do mornings. I'm not a morning girl. I've never been a morning person. Uh, it's just, it's not in me. It's not in me. So trying to get myself to wake up in the morning and do things. I'm setting myself up to fail at the start of the day. Like, I think this morning I tried to get myself to wake up at six to go to the gym. It was never going to happen. But I thought, like, when I was going to sleep, setting those alarms, I was like, yes, tomorrow's going to be the day. It wasn't the day. I woke up at nine. I was meant to wake up at six. So already I'm three hours behind the schedule. I'd made myself like provisionally in my head. I'm more productive afternoon slash evening. But if I've already had an off morning because I've over committed myself or I've set myself up to be productive in the morning, then the rest of the day is just an absolute sham. So it's just working on like, what are my negatives? What are my positives? And making sure I'm really focusing on what will make me productive and really letting go of what does make me productive. So you have that about me section question yourself actually be critical like or ask other people like if you're telling yourself no i'm perfect i'm great okay then you go on and you look at your yearly goals let's say my goal is to save 10k right over the year i can keep track and see where i'm at i can be like okay this month so far i've saved 800 pounds we're in January. Then we go on to February, March, April, May, June. Maybe it gets to August, maybe July. And I'm looking, I'm seeing, okay, well, halfway through the year, how are we looking? If I'm not about halfway through, then things are going to need to change. And that kind of feeds into monthly planning and weekly planning. It doesn't mean I have to hit the 10K, but let if we get to the end of the year and I've saved 9K, then I'm happy. Like I've nearly gotten there. Like life happens. Maybe that 1K went to fix in my car. I like a realistic thing that could happen but do you know what i mean like make it trackable so that at the end of the year i'm like oh yeah i've saved but i've saved 10 pounds what's 10 pounds gonna do for me the second i've stepped out of my house that 10 pounds is gone like i'm not even seeing that like there's it's just gone so on the digital planner there are sections you've got your personal development section a relationship finances career business attitude mindset and health I am one to always forget about setting health goals. I'm always one to not think about relationship goals, but these are actually quite important. I did three for each one, and then this kind of feeds on to then when you're doing your monthly, you look back at your yearly goals and you're like, okay, these are the things I want to achieve by the end of the year. How can I achieve this? How can I achieve that? And in your monthly, you could also set the goals to be like under each of those six headings. And then you're going month by month and you're like okay this month that didn't quite work out like what do i need to do next month so rather than it being a whole year where you're now looking back and you haven't done anything only a month's gone by and you're able to still fix things and i feel like a month of being behind over a year of being behind is a lot better like in my mind it's a lot better and then you can weekly plan i haven't yet weekly planned yet but i do daily plan and i do wake up in the morning i spend about 20 30 minutes just looking through my work calendar i look through my daily plan calendar see what i've got to make what i would need to do and just make sure like i'm achieving everything that's on my to-do list and there's time for everything and time to just chill as well like i think that's so so key think of what you want at the end of the year i write myself letters it might sound sad i write myself letters every single year and i the one i wrote for myself for this year i read it and i was like wow like 2022 me really thought so highly of what 2023 me would achieve and she's just not so in my letter for this year i've been i've not been as harsh on myself i've been a lot nicer i've seen so many people do a canvas of like how they want that year to look and it looks so pretty like going on pinterest printing pictures off and writing with like felt tips making it nice and then putting it somewhere in your room so you've got that like daily reminder i remember i did one on canva once the online website application and i made it my lock screen to me that this is that year like i just want everyone to get to the end of 2024 and be like yes this year was amazing. I went on my holidays. I achieved my goals. I had fun. I was happy. Do you know what I mean? Like, I emotionally, physically, financially, what are the words? Emotionally, physically, mentally, I am happy. And I just, I want us all to be happy. 
I just want us all to have a great year. And I know for everyone to have a great year, some people have got to have a bad year, but I really do hope like 2024 is the year that we can all just be smiling. Don't expect yourself to change overnight. That's another toxic one of mine. Expect myself to change overnight. I don't know who I thought I was setting myself 6 a.m. alarms. Clearly, that's never gonna happen. Like I'm normally like a 9, 10 a.m. riser. So I don't know why I'm trying to start my day at six. So I think bit by bit, I'll be like, okay, instead of nine let's wake up at half eight and instead of half eight let's wake up at eight i don't know especially in this winter weather if i'm gonna see 6 a.m but maybe by summer when the sun is shining a lot earlier the weather is sweet maybe i just might see 6 a.m and i just might make it to the gym and i'll be all chirpy and happy i'll definitely like keep updating you guys like month on month like when i do like vlogs and just say how it's going not necessarily tell you goals unless i've like achieved a goal then i'll be like oh my goodness i achieved a goal guys Woo. um if i've not said anything just know it's going absolutely down the drain but yeah i hope this has helped some of you who feel like this year is just i don't know or you, you just feel like last year was hard and you just didn't hit your goals and you're just really struggling with how to hit goals and things like that don't take it's not new year new you it's new year better you that's how i and i want to see things like that's the way we're going to do life now like i just feel like it's that's the best way for it to go and i i'm so obsessed with that i'm like literally so happy i appreciate you so 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 much if you've gotten up to this point i can't wait to hear what your goals are if, if you don't want to share your goals to hear like how you're doing or how you plan like your week day year and yeah i can't wait i'm back on youtube guys if you got to this point thank you so much i really really do appreciate you if you haven't already please do like comment and subscribe love you lots and i will catch you in my next video bye